Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna to be discussing a very important feature on your boat, the bilge pump. So the boat, obviously designed to be in the water, it is inevitable you're gonna have water in your bilge at one point or another. We designed the stringer grid for all of our boxes that don't drain overboard to drain through PVC pipe and eventually work its way to the bilge. Now, once it's in the bilge, we'll have a bilge pump and it will kick on. It's got an automatic float. Whenever water reaches a certain level, it will kick the pump on, alleviating all that water and sending it overboard. This is a critical part on the boat, just in case any hose, any through hole, anything were to break in time or leak, that water will go to the bilge. And like I said, it will be immediately pumped out by the bilge pump. Now, as I said, it's got an automatic float. You can also come up to the dash and work them manually via the switch. So another feature of the bilge pump, being that it does have the automatic float, we've got it wired to a 24 hour constant power source. As you can see, you got both your breakers, that's your 10 amp, just in case one of them were to short out, this is where you'd access those breakers. Um, but from that point, whether your battery switches are on or off, you still have power to both bilge pumps. All right guys, we hope you've enjoyed this short video on the bilge pump and some of its key features. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.